And they're chased up by New Gardlin Town. Black Point goes for the far side. And then Darkened and Ling Shore begins a run. Annie City is next, racing to the final furling and a half. And it's Ling Shore and Annalise Cullen mowing them down in the center of the track has come quickly clear of Magnetic North, Black Point, Annie City. Bardo Contigua is running on when it's all too late. And it's Ling Shore who is clear at the line. Annalise Cullen wins on Ling Shore from Magnetic North, Bardo Contigua. I'm delighted to be joined now by Annalise Cullen, who's just ridden Longshore to victory in our seventh race. Annalise, thank you. That was w well done. It was really, really impressive in the end. Yeah, it was. Um, Michael told me, Mr. Grassi, he said, uh, you know, jump out, he might be slow away. Let him find his rhythm. And he was traveling all over everything with me the whole way. I was four out, I was going, Jesus, I'm, I'm way too close. I was like, I'm way too close. And then he just went by a couple of horses, picked up and sailed home easy so yeah it all looked <laughs> very straightforward yeah. you gave him a super ride was it your intention to come to the near side in the home straight uh i just needed to get around what yeah. was in front of me because they were all kind of bunching in so uh once i got around them i was happy enough to let him roll on but yeah yeah he and he, he got in as, as a reserve you only knew he was in this morning yeah this morning as i said i was halfway through doing a college exam this morning and uh dad rings me he's like oh did you get your pass done for today i was like yeah he's like oh well, you have a spare ride there at half four i was like oh great <laughs> so uh, did you get yeah. the exam done yeah i did <laughs> <laughs> thankfully yeah. What are you studying in college? Uh, global Commerce in NUIG. So I'm in first year at the minute. So it's a business degree and uh, we'll see how things go. And yeah, it's going well. And how is it, how is it going combining studying with riding? It's tough. It's, it's very, uh, it's hard to balance it all. But uh, coming to the end of the exams now, so it'll be focusing on the racing for the next while. So 100% racing for the summer. I think so, yeah. yeah. And that's your second winner now. Like, how does that compare? Like, you must have got some buzz out of it. Yeah, it, well, it was because I wasn't really expecting it. And when I knew I was going so well, I was like, geez, he's in with a right chance. I was like, this will be great. <laughs> and yeah. then when he picked up, like, it must, is it, a, it must be some feeling then when he picks up like that and goes away yeah, from the field. Yeah, definitely. It is. It's it's nice feeling to have. And how does it compare to Zephron. Zephron, oh, I mean, he has a special place in my heart, Zephron, but uh, no, it was definitely nice to get the second one on the board. Yeah, great. And Zephron actually ran very well from probably the wrong side of the track last time, didn't he? Yeah, that was it. He was on the wrong side and very isolated to start out with. But then once he got into the race, he made up a lot of ground and he was the only horse, I think, from the draw up that side that got into the race somewhat. Yeah. But uh, he'll be ready for another day, hopefully. Yeah, soon. good. So I'm when I heard from Michael Grass, like, you're obviously available for outside rides. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, plenty. And I'm available for work around the Cara, so we're only 10 minutes from the Cara, so. Yeah, and you're yeah. booked already for Sunday, you're on Manganui on Sunday. Yeah, Manganui on Sunday. He's been frustrating this season, but hopefully we can get out and get up handy and see if he'll run a good race. Yeah, brilliant. Well, brilliant. well done, Annalise, and best of luck over Thank the weekend. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much.